25 years ago today, the astronauts let it go off out of the cargo bay of the space shuttle and into orbit around the Earth, and it's been operating in orbit around the Earth ever since. The reason we put a telescope up in space above the atmosphere is so we can get clearer pictures. We don't have to worry about the atmosphere blurring the light or the clouds blocking the light. So because of that precision capability of observations, we can see really sharp images. With Hubble, we can differentiate star from star, and that helps us scientifically to understand different kinds of stars. And we can also see beauty there. We see other beautiful interstellar nebulae, gas clouds that are uh, being uh, chiseled away by light from recently formed stars. And deep in these dense columns, you still get stars forming. They form out of this dense dust and gas. So Hubble reveals to us not only a beautiful universe, but Hubble is also revealing to us that the universe is very active, it's not stagnant, there's lots of things going on. Star formation is just one of them. Turns out that stars in our epoch nearly all form with these dusty disks around them and they are the sites of planet formation. Here's an old star that actually was so massive that as it began to run out of inner fuel it became unstable enough to explode. The filters on Hubble's cameras enable us to see the different kinds of elements that have been produced in that star and in the explosion that are now being released into the interstellar medium. Stars like this produce heavier things like carbon and oxygen and iron, even though they start mostly with hydrogen. And so they seed the universe with heavier elements that can go into the next generations of stars and planets, elements we need for life. Hubble's new camera also can see in the infrared, and you can see a lot more stars over the whole field that are no longer being hidden by the dusty veil in front of them. Hubble can see a little bit into the infrared and also into ultraviolet light. So Hubble is enab enabling us to see, for example, aurorae on other planets in our solar system that shine their light mostly in ultraviolet. Uh, these change with time as we monitor them. Hubble is revealing to us that we and our little solar system are part of an enormous universe. This is the ultra deep field where we looked at, we took Hubble, pointed it at a region of the sky that didn't have many nearby stars, just let it collect light for days on end, and we were able to see this collection, in this case thousands of galaxies in one small field of view. And in fact, we're seeing back within the, four, the first point eight of the 13.8 billion year history of the universe. We're seeing some of the most infant galaxies as they're starting to form. So let's all uh, wish Hubble a very happy 25th birthday. We're looking forward to quite a few more years of Hubble science. Thank you, Hubble, for giving us these beautiful images. And thanks to those astronauts going up time after time, this telescope is still operating at the forefront of scientific capabilities.